It was a very dry day across southern Colorado. I want to show you the relative humidities here. As we took you through the afternoon, they were in the single digits. Basically, this is a measure of how much moisture we have in the atmosphere. The lower the number, the lower the amount. As we took you through the afternoon and into the evening, once our cold front moved in and the temperatures dropped, look at how those numbers came up. That is great news here across southern Colorado and definitely helping the firefighting efforts. We will keep relative humidities in that 30 to 40 percent range here as we take you into your early Tuesday morning. Morning. Temperatures tonight will be much cooler than they were last night. We're falling into the 40s along an east of I-25 with 20s and 30s up across the high country. High temperatures tomorrow noticeably cooler than it was out there today. We're only going to get to 62 degrees in Colorado Springs, 69 in Pueblo with temperatures in the low 70s out across the lower Arkansas River Valley. Tomorrow it will be breezy at times with wind speeds between 20 and 25 miles per hour. So sure, it'll still be windy. It just won't be nearly as bad as it was out there today. So far, no red flag warnings have been issued. If that changes, we'll let you know here on Cardio News Channel 13. But even though there are no red flag warnings issued, Fire danger will still be high, so please continue to be extra careful as you are spending time outside. Skycast showing that at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, we should have mostly sunny skies here across southern Colorado, and I expect that to remain the case through about lunchtime. Taking you into the afternoon, again, the breeze will pick up, especially out across the plains. We are expecting fire danger, as I mentioned, to stay high. In the high country, that's going to be the only area where we have any potential for getting rain or snow. And it's going to stay in the high country through late tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. Unfortunately, none of that moisture making it here to southern Colorado. So it is going to stay dry in the state. So again, tomorrow, breaking it down for you, windy, just not as bad as it was out there today. Of course, slightly cooler. And the only showers that we'll be tracking will be up near the ski resort locations. Colorado Springs, your seven day forecast, not showing much relief from these dry conditions. A little cooler Wednesday. Day with high temperatures falling to 57 degrees, 61 then on Thursday with 70s expected to return Friday through the weekend and into early next week. In Pueblo, 69 degrees tomorrow, 63 then on Wednesday. Wednesday, the coolest day of the next seven days. Saturday, looking to be the warmest. We're back in the 70s and 80s through the end of the work week into the weekend. And by Monday, 77 will be your high temperature. Canyon City, not looking any better for rain chances. 68 degrees on Tuesday, 62 on Wednesday. We get back into the 70s. Friday, we'll stay there through the weekend with dry conditions into early next week. And Teller County, not much better. We don't have any chances for rain or snow in Teller County here as we head through the next seven days, 56 degrees on Tuesday, 50 on Wednesday. Then temperatures make their way back into the mid to upper 60s Friday into Saturday. Guys, I think I speak for a lot of folks when I say I would settle for a blizzard at this mm. point. Just anything mm -hmm. that would bring us some sort of, I mean, rain, snow, I don't care. We just need Literally. something. But I looked out and you can find our 13 day trends on caredio.com, even going out 13 days, even wow. further than that. It really doesn't look like we have much of a chance for any rain. Not next Tuesday, but the following Tuesday wow. shows the first glimpse of anything that could hit us here in Southern Colorado. And that is a long ways away. Right. Yeah, See you in wow. two weeks. Yeah, I think I may be more popular then. Mm.